Hi guys, this is a little update on the lip sync tool just to show you what I've been doing uh, lately. So for those who haven't seen the previous video, basically I'm, I've created a setup which allows you to create a lip sync animation directly inside the uh, real engine. So the way I did uh, the setup inside Maya is to basically create a lip sync route here which basically uh, using set driven keys onto the head here drives these phonemes. So right now I already have the animation applied so you will see that the joints will basically go from 0 to 1 uh, along the Y axis. Sorry, Z axis. So there you go, basically those trigger the animation here as you can see. So I've exported the head and the slip sync root here directly inside the Unreal Engine. So uh, what I create was basically um, uh, I have two different meshes, two different skeletal, me skeletal meshes. One is this proxy rig, which is quite small, uh, which basically is just a, ma a cube, a uh, proxy cube, which is kin to the joints, but it doesn't matter at all. So the most important thing about it is that uh, each joints represent the each uh, phoneme. And I have a base mesh, which is exactly the one you saw in Maya, which have all the uh, morph targets. So basically what I, I've, I've done is to create a blueprint, which are which basically connects the um, joints directly to the uh, phonemes to the morph target here and what basically what I did was to uh, create the uh, set dreaming kit set up in Maya directly inside uh, uh, the Unreal Engine. So a little breakdown of what's going on here. Uh, this is the, uh, at the even begin play, uh, I will basically connect the proxy rig, which is the joint setup, uh, directly in, into the, uh, plugged into the play animation. And here I have an FBX animation, which is, this one is the one that I exported from Maya, but in your case, it will be something which you will record directly inside uh, your real engine by string together the words, or I don't know which method you want to use. So this is the first part, which allows you, which allows the animation to be triggered. Then uh, this is the set driven key setup, which uh, is basically uh, created inside the real engine. So what's going on here? Basically, I'm using the proxy rig, again, the joint rig. I'm getting the socket transforms, um, which basically mean that I'm getting the transform of this joint, and you will just need to, uh, to get the name here. And basically, I'm uh, breaking down the transforms and, and getting the values of the Z. So, okay, I will just show you on screen what's happening. So if I hit play, let me save here. If I hit play, you will see by using this print uh, string on the left, you will see that the phoneme E, uh, sorry A, it's triggered uh, by the by the, the the sorry the joint trig, and those are the values for for the phonemes themselves. And here you will see uh, the basically the joint trig in action. You are not seeing uh, the phonemes in action because uh, they are not connected. So let's just unplug this. And I will basically connect the set morph target here, uh, which are driven by the Z values. The Z values, of course, uh, goes from 0 to 1, and of course, th those trigger the morph target. So as shown here, I didn't use any arrays and so on, because, I mean, you, you could use it. You could use arrays in order to put everything a little bit more organized, but since I'm prototyping everything, I don't need them and it works, so I'm not too concerned about that. So let's save everything and hit play, and you will see the animation played. Um, don't mind, please don't mind the uh, cube here because you will see that there is a little bit of um, synchronization issue between them. This is not a mistake, it's just that some joints are not skinned uh, to the cube. That's why you will see the cube moving a bit random. But the, the most important thing about the, the entire setup is that the joint will drive the morph target, so that's how it works. So in your case, uh, what you will do if you want to use your own mesh, uh, you will replace this uh, proxy rig, sorry, you will replace this head base, which in my case is this, 
with yours um, the most important thing that you need to take care of is to use the exact same names or what you can do you can create your own uh, rig you can name the phonemes whatever you want phoneme a whatever you want but the most important part of this in this uh, setup is that you will basically tell the system here on the set uh, morph target to trigger your uh, morph target so in my case uh, this setup won't change because this setup from the proxy ring will basically drive the morph target based on the z value so you can put here the name of your skeletal mesh and based on the skeletal mesh you will set the morph target by putting here the, your name in my case the joint name and the phoneme name correspond but since you're you will be creating your own uh, skeletal mesh with your own morph target you can use whatever you want for the name so yeah that's how the setup works if you have any question just let me know and see you soon